Here's the daily. Just wondering what happened here. I don't see actually that likely it's earnings and then my earnings setting off. Yeah. So they lost two cents instead of twenty-three cents. So marginal losses. Thirteen billion with a market cap. I'm sorry, with uh, trailing four quarters of sales, less than 800 million. So it's 15 times sales. And they expect to lose 50 cents. So far they've lost 14 halfway through the year. If we go and look at their quarter over quarter, I have to adjust my screen. You'll have to trust me on the June quarter. Loss of two cents, 23 cents here. 12 cents in March, 22 cents, 137, 188, 228. So they're growing at a rate of 40 to 80 million. About. So debts at 42%, five times book. Cash flow 50 cents, which is about 60 million. Correct me if I'm wrong there. Um, and I understand the demand for their product, silicon carbide, as far as EV. I'm not sure what they're basing that 2024 number on, but figure a 10 times jump from 23 to 24, I mean, that's a long way out. We're just here in the, uh, the fourth quarter of 22. And, but if they exceed that number, and again, they were profitable at one time, so this isn't an angel, so to speak, if, if I understand that uh, definition. But they've made money before, went back into a loss. So projecting profit again is nothing out of the ordinary. I just am concerned over that number because basically this valuation is based upon that number. So I, I don't think the carbide, uh, silicon carbide within the course of what, what's that, 16 months or 20 months? Uh, maybe they have a supplier coming in. I know you mentioned, uh, someone mentioned the demand. But if we look a little bit deeper, one thing I do like about this one, short interest at $9 million. And again, I have to adjust my screen so the average volume wasn't showing, but I, we could, oh, there it is. 2.6 it just showed. Okay, so if you do the math on that, 9 million at 25% of the daily volume at 2 million, that's 500,000 they can get. So 10 trading days, they get 5 million to cover. Next question is the reporting dates to try and gauge off the chart if some of this buying in here is short covering. Um, or obviously, you have a short position unless it's been largely closed. Again, it will depend on the date's publication date, what they do prior to that date. Um, so, but if that's accurate, still or close to it at 10 million, it's not a large percentage of the float necessarily at 10 percent, but on a median daily average uh, attributable to short trades, whether that be new short interest uh, or shares to cover existing short interest, you're looking at getting 500,000 a day. So 10 million short, it would take 20 days trading days. So what? To cover, if they full blast 25, 30% of the average volume, and that's short covering and no new short switch. You have to think right here, even if the intent would be to cover, you're selling into this test, push it on here. Now, I don't see why it doesn't come back here. My concern is breaking the 200 day. I mean, this is basically a failed golden cross right here. 
And if you see, you know, this could easily be a $60 number. I don't see why this doesn't come down and test 60. That's my opinion. I don't really follow it. The saving grace is I am very bullish on semis right now. This isn't my favorite subgroup of semis. Um, I run with this guy. Pays 21% dividend. Look at the discount to S&P 500. Market cap a billion. And if I can move my screen up here enough, you'll see the sales are almost uh, two billion. But even if you take out the high quarter sales, smaller cap, and basically came back in to retest the breakout price. You could also make an argument this will fail, and this is just a little head fake short cover, and they'll stop. Bidding, uh, get off the bid, buy the cover, so that. But but I think, uh, I believe, socks. Okay, you're gonna get a fill on this gap, right? Or maybe they're selling early, knowing it's coming into the 50 day. But if you look at AMD on Fabulous. Although I do like the manufacturing side, but again, they're really limited to the raw materials. So, um, well, this chart doesn't look what I saw before. Yeah, so I mean, you're going to get a bounce here with AMD. Nvidia is at the 50 day almost. Here's Lamb. I also like this trade, silver. See that for semis? I made my screen on this too short. But going back to this one, Wolf, I just don't see why this one is not coming to 60. If you look on the week on the weekly, yeah, I apologize for the charting here. You had 10 down, big, 7, 8 up. But I mean those shorts could have been coming in from 125. So at 97, that's like cool 18%. This is a head fake here. We saw a head fake breakout here. I think the shorts are in control and no rush. And the only thing that, you know, the reason this could make sense is if they had some contract with the government on Wolf coming in here. But just, uh, for me, or some major mine opening where the silicon carbide, I'm not an expert on that, but what I was saying with buy uh, dollar bills for 50 cents, I mean, there's plenty of them. I did this one, YPF, okay, uh, it's Argentinian oil and gas integrated, buying this thing at three, and I follow this. But in here, I mean, this thing was way oversold. If you look at the metrics now, even, on this, YPF, four, five, nine, I don't own it. 11, 16 billion, the market caps 3 billion, 80%, 90% discount to S&P. Look at this, profitable, $4 for 2022. Two, they're already at 360 halfway through the year. So I mean that, uh, and I don't own it. I bought calls here and sold them like here. Forget it. Uh, but anyway, this one also, SWN, 70% discount to S&P. Uh, four, seven, ten, twelve billion market cap, seven point five, about fifty percent discount to one-time sales, and their acquisitions clear out. Um, <coughs> if you want to stick on the semis, I'm a fan of this one. This is discount to one-time sales. TTMI, you see market cap, one point five billion last four quarters. They're over two billion, so more sales than the value of the company. So if we were venture capital looking to buy this, we could pay 1.5 billion and take over a company that does over 2 billion. And then when you look at their return on equity, it's low, yes, cash flow 200 million, but still one times book. Uh, and you could argue that growth isn't there on this, but in this environment, these are the types that are working more so in uptrends. TTMI, uh, and they're, you just make sure they're manufacturing, and there's other ones too. And I'm, it's not mine versus yours or anyone else's, whoever that one was, but 
it's just more of what's working. You have to look sales versus market cap. If you get under one, buy it. I do calls, but if you're under two, you're you're all right. I mean, when I see 15 times sales debt, 50 uh, percent. I know EVs are the future, but uh, it's what price are you going to pay? I mean, price is relevant. It's not just future growth, in my opinion.